Today, all modern phones have a GPS and additional ways to calculate the, their position very precisely. Let me show you how to retrieve the location data in your Flutter app. Let's jump right into it. So here we are in VS Code. The first thing you need to do is to download the plugins you need. So under Dependencies, the plus icon, you can search for plugins and download them directly right here. So we need Geolocator. And the system retrieves it. Actually, I already have it, but if it, if it was run for the first time, it would download the plugin and adjust the configuration accordingly. A second plugin I recommend is Geocoding. Same thing, I already have it. Um, geocoding is for calculating the address from a location or getting the location of an address, while Geolocator retrieves the data, the position data from your phone. Let's go to the pop.dev website and have a look at the information on these plugins. So the first one is Geolocator, latest version here on that I installed is 8.0. Let's start with the uh, information under installing. So these dependencies are managed by VS Code already, so nothing to do on this side. But under README, there is some important information. So we see the platforms this plugin is available for. So iOS and Android, of course, but also macOS and web. And for each platform you want to use this plugin, you need to adjust some additional information. So I will show in this example iOS only. If you want to use it for the others, you have to go here and do the same uh, according to these instructions. So for iOS, we need to copy these keys and put them in the info.plist file that we find under iOS runner. So under iOS, runner is our info.plist and I had already put these um, lines in the file. So this is what you need to uh, copy paste into this info.plist file. And um, that's really it for the geocoder. The other interesting thing you see on this file is this code snippet. Uh, that actually gives you everything you need to retrieve the data. So I suggest to just copy paste that into your code. Uh, I will show you later how I did that. The other, um, the other plugin is Geocoding. Now that's a bit confusing. We have one with a capital G, one without capital G. So real Flutter is always without capital and we see the popularity is, is higher, more likes. So that's the one. And this is fairly simple and it just gives you basically two functions, location from address and place mark from coordinates, which returns a list of place marks. So that's it, what we need to get from pop.dev. So let's go right into the code. What I did is I, I took the main.dart file from the um, demo application of Flutter and I added the two import uh, lines for the packages, for the plugins, geolocator and geocoding. Then I just took the demo app, changed the color to orange because I like orange, I changed the title. And then in the state widget, I added a couple of variables to contain the, the latest uh, data. So I will use latitude, longitude, altitude, speed, and the address. And then I have two functions here. One is update position and one is determine position. So determine position is ex exactly what I copy pasted from the pub.dev uh, website. And I removed the comments to make it a bit um, 
slimmer and fit on the screen but basically it just handles a lot of issues if you don't have the right permissions to access this data on the phone and uh, if you have it and the system provides that then it just returns the current position all this is asynchronous uh, because it can take up to two seconds or so to retrieve the data especially for the first time and that's um, determined position and then in update position that's what I uh, wrote myself where I take the determined position the data into a position uh, calculate the address from it with place mark from coordinates I get a list and I just take the very first item of that list and then I copy the, the latitude, longitude, altitude, speed into these variables that I have prepared for that and the rest is just visualizing that on the screen so I added a widget on the screen and the body of my scaffold where I show the latitude and then the variable context same for the other attributes including the address and the floating action button I modified slightly just to call the update position so every time I click the button it will retrieve the updated position from uh, the, the interface from the API. So one last thing to, to mention here, updates on this configuration uh, in, in the runner file do need uh, a cold restart of the simulator. So just doing a hard restart might cause some issues here. I have done that before, so it's okay now. I can rerun this hot uh, restart does the job. And that's how it, uh, how it looks on the simulated iPhone. So we see here the latitude, the longitude, the altitude, speed, and the address. And of course the floating button. When I click it, uh, all this is rebuilt and filled with our latest position. And of course the address that's derived from this. So I'm not in California right now um, looking at this, the, uh, these coordinates. They're in United States, California, Cupertino, so it's Apple headquarter. Uh, where does it come from? It's a simulated iPhone. So under features, location, I can set a couple different ones. So I can fix it to the Apple headquarter and we run it uh, over there. It might take a moment to, to be refreshed over there. Um, I can also do like a freeway drive, city run, and that way I get different um, speeds, different locations, changing locations when I update that. So I like to, to have a bit of variety. So that's how you uh, take get the information on the location from your device. In my next video, I will show you how to upload that to a cloud and also how to visualize that on a map. So subscribe to follow for more if you like this. Thank you for watching.